What happens when some of the world's deadliest carnivores go head to head? It's a war for survival. War is the law of the jungle. Kill or be killed. Armed with deadly weapons. <laughs> and an instinct to kill. Death or glory, soldier. Welcome to the war. Welcome to Florida's pinnacle of predation. 15 feet and a thousand pounds of power. Armor plating. ADT. And 2,000 pounds of fight force put this war machine at the cutting edge. The American Alligator. But no alligator starts as the swamp's deadliest. They start here. These young cadets are beginning their long mission to become five-star swamp generals. full of submarine enemies. The largemouth bass has radar lock. It's a highly mobile hunter and a dedicated meat eater. Now, only two remain. Alligators are ectothermic, meaning they must leave the water to warm their bodies in the sun. But so must the water moccasin, AKA the cottonmouth. It uses heat seeking sensors to home in on prey. Its strike is accurate. And its venom, deadly. It destroys tissue rupturing blood vessels. The gator will slowly die. And the cottonmouth will dine. A lone gator soldier survives. Only he can complete the mission. But the largemouth bass is still not done. Luckily for the gator, it's a frog that fills its jaws. With every passing day, the gator's odds improve. The bigger it grows, the fewer can tackle it. And in four years' time, it will grow into an apex predator. The iconic Bengal tiger needs no introduction. Five hundred pounds of hunting power. Wherever this king walks, 
his subjects hail his approach. <laughs> even when all he wants is a simple drink of water. The scars on his face tell a story of violence. He must fight to wear the crown. A young challenger squares off against a dominant male. Most disputes are settled with posturing. But the presence of a female raises the stakes. The most aggressive encounters occur when a female is ready to mate. Tigers are armed with an arsenal of deadly weapons. They probe each other's defenses. The dominant male latches on. A gruesome kiss. His only way out is to submit to the pain. This fight isn't over. To kill, they must find the other's throat. These encounters are rarely deadly. But there's always exceptions to the norm. Fur seals are a carnivorous colonial power. They live all over the world, chowing down on whatever's available. They even fish in the subtropical waters of South Africa, where vast shoals support a huge colony. But to get to the fish, the hunters must run the gauntlet. Great white sharks lurk in the channel near the colony. It's safer to make the crossing in numbers. The sharks wait below, looking for a seal silhouette to pass over. If they miss the first strike, the chase is on. The shark has the power, but the seal, the maneuverability. It turns in tight circles to escape the jaws. Before making the ultimate sacrifice. One seal's death allows the others to make it to the shoals. But they still have to get home. on. Another is about to begin. And some of the deadliest warriors in the world are preparing for combat. In the 
jungle, there is one golden rule. Stay alert, stay alive. Out here, the enemy doesn't engage from hundreds of yards away. When combat starts, you're close enough to see the whites of his eyes. Or the blacks. Frogs are jungle commandos. With hundreds of species in the rainforests of Central America alone. Each is a deadly amphibious assault weapon that will kill pretty much anything it can fit in its mouth. But they don't start out this way. Most frogs simply lay their eggs and abandon them. Cannon fodder to the elements. And to predators. But one ferocious father stands by his young. The reticulated glass frog. He has heart and guts and guards his clutch because squadrons of carnivorous rainforest wasps are incoming. It's not him they're after, it's his precious eggs. But he's got a few tricks up his sleeve. His skin is patterned to look like the eggs. It draws the hungry wasps towards him instead of the helpless young. And then... This soldier is skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Of course, there's only so much one soldier can do. To survive, the tadpoles need to find the will to fight. Sensing danger, some pop themselves out prematurely. Hatching without being fully developed is a better option than certain death. Each surviving tadpole represents a mission accomplished. And Dad's fighting spirit lives on in a new generation. The leopard is an adaptable hunter. Renowned for its stealth, speed, and strength. But nature is never neat, and sometimes even a top predator doesn't get her way. She plans to eat or kill in peace. But they say plans are the first casualty of war. A herd of buffalo moves in. Leopards will occasionally take young buffalo. But the adults can be moody, and in numbers, they can be lethal. They smell trouble. They know a leopard is nearby. Outnumbered, the leopard will have to lay low until the buffalo let down their guard. Next, wild boars show up. They smell a meal. Leopards are partial to a little pork. They can even take down the wild boar's more fearsome African cousin, the warthog. These battles can be hard fought and gruesome. But tonight, they get to eat her lunch. They could polish off the corpse if they stop bickering. Now, 
Another carnivore exploits the opportunity right under the leopard's nose. A crocodile advances. These predators sometimes compete with the leopard for food. Escape the crocodile, and you might find yourself in the clutches of the big cat. Time for a role reversal. It's too much for the leopard. She reclaims her kill and her dignity from the small croc. But the buffalo close ranks around her, forcing another chastening retreat. The leopard persists, repeating the cycle for hours. This is nature's fog of war. There are no victors tonight. Finally, she retreats in dishonor. Nature's war is not just fought in the jungles. Carnivores must fight in the deserts, the forests, and under the microscope. The northern short-tailed shrew is on a deadline. In three hours, he will die. Unless he hunts. His metabolism is so fast that only a few hours without food will be the end of him. His heart beats over four times faster than a human, at up to 900 beats per minute. It sounds something like this. Mother Nature has cursed him with insatiable hunger. But she's also given him the gift of incredible weaponry. He's one of the few animals with sonar. He can see with his ears like a bat. A mouse. But the mouse knows this game. Stay still, stay silent. Fateful move. A meal. Just in the nick of time but it offers only a short respite. The insatiable shrew must begin again. The northern leopard frog is also known for its voracious appetite. A carnivore that will eat whatever it can get its mouth around. A daunting opponent. But the shrew is armed to the teeth. He's one of the few mammals with venom. It paralyzes his victim. Keeping it fresh while it's being eaten alive.
but satisfaction is only temporary. Time is ticking. Chase. Kill. Repeat. There is only one way to stop the clock. To become the prey. Covert Ops. A war fought in the shadows. It takes courage, stealth, and nerves of steel. The Zodarian Spider is the ultimate mercenary. She's an anteater, but ants move in deadly armies. The spider must become an ant to catch one. She walks on six legs instead of eight and raises her front two like antennae, mimicking her prey. One ant stops for a bit of grooming. A fatal mistake. She injects her venom. Full body paralysis. Now, for the hard part. Escape. She uses her victim as cover. She carries her still living prey like she's an ant medic, removing a casualty. A suspicious soldier probes with its antennae. The tiny spider taps them with her false pair. If she's exposed, the soldier will sound the alarm. That was close. At a safe distance, she sucks up the ant's juice. until nothing is left but an empty shell. And she disappears back into the shadows. As the spider leaves the field of battle, a new brigade of combatants enters. For survival, they must fight to the death. The tropical paradise of the South Pacific. Beautiful today. But it's not always been this way. Human wars end. Unlike the eternal war that rages beneath the tropical waters. The reef is a battleground. Each of the warriors uses specialized weapons, ingenious tactics, or sheer brute power and speed. In pursuit of victory and survival,
broad club cuttlefish. She's an unlikely looking predator. Her soft, frilly body inspires little fear. She seems more glamorous than deadly as a strange hypnotic light show plays across her skin. It's the last show her prey will ever see. Today, this weapon of mass destruction is focusing on creation. She's laying eggs deep in the coral, where they're protected from predators. After laying, the female is exhausted. She's not as quick as she once was. And the War of the Reef claims another. But not before the cuttlefish completed her life's mission. Cuttlefish hatch as tiny replicas of adults. An army of miniatures, ready to take their mother's place on the battlefield. If just a couple survive, then the losses are balanced. No fighting force is complete without dominion of the air. Boobies are the ultimate in aerial bombardment technology. Dive bombing is now recognized as one of the most accurate and destructive forms of air attack. The boobies gather in a squadron of hundreds. A shoal of fish has come in shore. But they are greeted by a blitzkrieg. Piercing calls synchronize an assault. With a full belly, this booby sortie is over. She heads back to her nest and her hungry chick. But she's entering enemy airspace, and there are bogeys incoming. If boobies are the ultimate dive bombers, then frigate birds are the ultimate fighter jets. The frigate lacks the diving ability of the booby, so it wants to steal or catch. The booby tries to dodge the aerial pirate. Her evasive moves are no match for the frigate's speed and power. The only option is to regurgitate mid-flight, giving her lunch to the island bullies. But even then, the fight isn't over. The frigates bicker amongst themselves for scraps of booby vomit. Between the threat of the frigates and the dangers of hunting in the pounding surf, life for a booby is certainly a dogfight. Not all will make it home. Ghost crabs usually sift the sand for food, but they're always on the lookout for something meteor.
this war, carnivores must risk everything for victory. Because without victory, there is no survival. It's time to fall in for a formidable military unit. This army is armed with deadly teeth, claws, and agility. But that's not all that puts them in contention for the title of the world's deadliest. Their intelligence and teamwork makes them an elite fighting unit. A Cape Cobra, the most venomous snake in Africa. But it's no match for the meerkat force. Much more challenging is a multitude of rival fighters. The neighboring clan wants to conquer their abundant homeland. Meerkats will fight to the death when the stakes are this high. Patriots drive off their rivals. The battle may be won, but the war for survival always rages. And no one gets out alive. Africa's Serengeti Plains are one of the bloodiest war zones on Earth. between predator and prey, but between two of the most ferocious carnivores, lions and spotted hyenas. They have overlapping territories and the same taste in prey. The armies take up formation for the latest battle in a war that has raged for millennia. Hyenas are prolific hunters. They separate one wildebeest from the herd. and chase it until it's too tired to run any longer. But the sound of the chase has attracted unwanted attention. The hyenas are being mugged. attract more clan members. And reinforcements arrive quickly. Though much smaller, the hyenas are not to be taken lightly. 
Their bite force is similar to that of the lion, evolved to crush bone. The lionesses retreat. But victory is brief. Over 500 pounds of teeth, muscle, and attitude will turn the tide. are a great threat to hyenas and are responsible for over half of all hyena deaths. While hyenas may not be able to take on an adult male lion, young vulnerable cubs look like an opportunity not to be missed. Looks can be deceiving. Hyena's battle is over. One of nature's biggest battles is about to begin. As massive brown bears, orcas, and whales brace themselves for their finest hour. land carnivore, weighing in at over 1,700 pounds. Brooks Falls, in Alaska, is the front line of the bear war. The usually solitary males are crammed together forced to compete for the best fishing spot. While deaths are rare in conflicts between adult males, Cubs are a different story. They are a kind of competition, too, for the mother. If a male can kill all of a female's cubs, she may come back into season and possibly mate with him. So a female approaching the falls with her cubs may pay a tragic price for her supper. He's barely finished his first course. And now, visitors without a reservation. The miniature marauders stand up to the bully 
and then some. Not only do they repel this threat, but backed up by mom, they also bully every bear in sight out of their catches. They aren't kings of the falls yet, but they have potential. The biggest carnivores can wreak havoc on an enormous scale. Humpback whales can consume up to 3,000 pounds of fish each day. Decimating entire shoals in a single mouthful. To find the biggest shoals, whales must make huge migrations from their breeding grounds in the tropics. But another massive carnivore is waiting for them. Orcas hunt in packs, earning them the title, Wolves of the Sea. A gray whale in her calf is exactly the target they are looking for. Orcas weigh in at over 15,000 pounds, but the whale can be up to five times that size. It's the calf that they're after. The pack closes in. swims under her calf to protect it. But the calf slips back. The orcas take full advantage and ram it repeatedly. bite at its fins. Until the calf can no longer resist. And drowns. Predators first gorge on the delicacies, the tongue and lips. The huge calf easily satisfies the enormous hunger of this elite group. Size, teamwork, strategy, and ingenuity all combine in nature's elite units to create an almost unopposable fighting force.